immortal, but I love him. Well, yes, he has forbidden me to use my powers. But don't worry, I can handle this mortal without having to resort to bitchcraft. Oh, Darren's home. Talk to you later. Samantha, I'm home. Hi, darling. How was your day? Um, you don't want to know. What's for dinner? Well, I'm sorry, Darren, but Uncle Arthur came over with his life partner today, and, well, I forgot to make dinner. Sam, how many times do I have to tell you the Tates are coming over tonight with our new client? When I say dinner should be on the table by six, I mean dinner should be on the table by six. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Oh, you're so hungry. If you are so hungry, why don't you fix your own damn dinner? Calm down, honey. You promised no bitchcraft. I need to make a good impression tonight. Oh, you, you need, you need. What about my needs? Sam, please, you're acting just like... I don't you say, don't you dare use that word. You knew what you were getting when you married me. I'll get it. Larry, Louise, how nice to see you. <laughs> Sam, you look great. I honestly don't know how you do it. Well, thank you, Louise. And this must be your new client. Sam, Darren, allow me to introduce Mr. Olson from Olson Pharmaceuticals. Mr. Olson, how nice. I'm a big fan of your birth control pills. <laughs> nice place you got here, Stevens. We're not paying you too much, are we? Oh, goodness, no, Mr. Olson. Here, come sure. sit, everyone. Uh, would you all like a martini? That sounds great. I'd love one. Sam, mm. let me help you. Thanks, Louise. We'll be right back, boys. So, uh, I hope you liked our ideas for your new campaign, Mr. Olson. Yeah, Mr. Olson, Darren is a genius. He's pure genius. I hated it. Uh, did, did I say genius? I meant uh, retarded. He's profoundly retarded. Well, here we are. <laughs> it's about time you got back with those drinks. Here, Mr. Olson, have one. Don't say that for you. Oh, oh, shut shut up, up, you uptight alcoholic. Oh, oh, Larry, can I talk to you? I am not a servant for you to be ordering around. Now, take the stick out your ass, and while you're at it, pop her up so you can kiss mine. Well, I never. <laughs> Sam, please. Now, you listen up and you listen good. You either drop the attitude, or I'm gonna give you a good reason to take some of those painkillers you push. That's it. I'm leaving. And you can kiss the Olsen Pharmaceuticals account goodbye. No, 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 no Mr. Olsen, I can explain. Yes, Mr. Olsen, he can explain. Uh, start explaining. I can explain. You see, Mr. Olsen, Larry and Darren were just showing you your new spokesperson for Olsen Pharmaceuticals. We were? I mean, we were. Yes, after all, aren't your biggest customers housewives who are addicted to your sedative Quaylax? We prefer the word dependent, but please go on, go on. Well, I was doing the character for your new television campaign. It's a harried housewife who needs to relax. And the slogan is Quaylax. It's tranquilicious. Well, I hate it. I love it. I, I love it, yes. Uh, uh, now, Mr. Olsen will take care of the paperwork, and uh, Darren and I will come to your office first thing in the morning. That's fine, Tate, fine. Good work, Stevens. Fine work. Uh, Larry, well, can Stevens. I talk to you? I, I think Sam's a bitch. What a bitch. Good night, Mr. Olsen, and thanks. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, you did it again, honey. How did I get to be so lucky? You just did what every man wishes he could do. You married a bitch. Did I ever.